as I've lost some oil from the gearbox I need to check the level now in the BMW toolkit there is a C spanner um, which has the level marked on it now unfortunately I don't have that one in fact I've got a Hagon one which is far too thick to actually go down in the hole now in the Haynes manual it gives you the dimensions so from the bottom of there right to the bottom is 126 millimeters so I'll get a nice thick cable tie cut that from there to there 126 millimeters correct level is 10 mil dip on the bottom um, instant dipstick that's cut down to 126 millimeters um, right on the bottom there there's a 10 mil dip that should be the level so I can use that as my dipstick and the nice thing about it is it's got this serrated edge that will hold the oil on it when I pull it out just take the gearbox plug out so I'm using the Allen key that came off the bike and that's the wheel wrench extension because this is going to be really stiff I'm going to try and do it with one hand if we look down inside there you can actually see the oily gears at the top we're interested in the oil that's at the bottom the actual level of it so using my pre-made dipstick it goes down there to that height bring it back out and no oil I need to do a bit of a top up just make sure again just make sure again no oil so I did lose quite a bit of oil when the clutch boots split I don't really know how much I've lost so I'll just pour in a little bit at a time So that is actually 8mm and that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, you can see all the lovely bright clean oil that I've just put in. So more or less job done. When you put the plug back in put a little bit of oil on the threads because otherwise it binds. So the best thing to do really is to change the oil and use a good quality high poid GL5 oil. So I'm going to have to go off and buy a bottle. According to Haynes I need 850 plus or minus 50 cc's so I need to go and buy a litre bottle of GL5. While you're down here you might as well check the sight glass on the oil level for the engine oil and, and even though it's called a sight glass it's actually made out of plastic so if you want to take that out normally what people do is stick a soldering iron into it and then lever it out with a screwdriver but you can see that mine's at the correct level between the dot and the top you can have it more or less in the middle I tend to like to have it right near the top because when you put it on the side stand that will drop below that dot while you're at it you might as well also check the level in there this is the gearbox bevel drive so we'll have a quick look in there as well with the bevel drive there isn't a dipstick you just need to see that the oil is up to the bottom thread and I can just see that's correct a little tip is if you just put a screwdriver in there and bring out a sample of the oil you can see that's lovely and clean and bright like new oil so that doesn't need changing if it's milky and a bit green time to do it so that's all good this is all a bit cruddy and clean this out very carefully scrape it out of a screwdriver so it doesn't go inside and if you've got the ceiling rings um, which come in service kits or you can just buy loads of them put on a new ceiling ring if you can these last about four or five goes by the way